talk about the short game. And if you're an amateur, and the problem for you as an amateur is when you go to your local guru, you look at YouTube, you look at famous media coaches, so on, they can't teach you how to become a tuber in skill. That's how it is. The reason why they can't teach you is because a tuber learned this when they like 18 years old. They learned this short game, hitting 40, 60 yard pitches at that age. I started playing golf when I was 25. I never learned this. And no one teaches this, right? What they don't teach you is this, what I'm going to talk about. Is that when you do a pitch shot, you're going to go into the left, sit down into the left heel, and hit. You're going to relax your impact. You're going to pull your left arm and the elbow. Elbow going to go down and the left arm going to go up like that. Right? And you're going to ignore the ball. When you practice this, you can't, and I mean, I repeat that, you can't, focusing on the ball to hit the ball. And when you do this correctly, when you practice, it will feel like you don't do anything because your body and brain and all that stuff when you hit the ball will be synchronized. When you synchronize, it feels like you're not doing it. Okay? So again, when you practice that, set up. Lift the club up, relax, get the ground the ball, go out there, and then you'll hit the shot. And then you just alter your clubs to the distance you want to hit. This is 60 degree, maybe you hit the 54 or a 52 or something like that. It's the same thing you just do. Practice this. Relax. And you will be able to be much, 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 much more consistent with your shot making. And I'm not focusing on, you know, hitting the perfect shot here. Because I ignore the ball. I don't care if I, if I hit the ball correctly or not. Usually I do because, you know, I've been practicing this. So that's why. But this I never could do. Three months ago I couldn't do this. But now I can because I practice it. And those I hit around 35 meters. And I can be consistent with it because I do the same thing. Because as an amateur, your tendency is to build bad habits, look at the ball, squeeze the club before impact. Now you want to do this. That leads to thin hits, fat hits, and whatever else. And the problem you have as an amateur, when you go to a golf guru, they're going to teach you stuff. Well, usually they teach you mechanics and techniques that becomes difficult. I have members who play golf for 40 years. They start doing this for a few weeks. And they're telling me, you know, this is so easy to do. Yes, I know. It's supposed to be easy. But they also notice the short game takes a whole new level. They said, now you learn the skill a two pro has. This is what a two pro is doing in the short game. When you look at someone teaching this as a two pro, uh, as a golf guru, they can't teach you this. No one is doing that. Why? Because they're focusing on, well, you're going to open your blind and you're going to you have this set up and then you're gonna do a hinge and hole or something like that. Well, that is shit. Because it makes it complicated, difficult. And you sure, you can learn to do that. You can pay a lot of money for that shit. And you still believe, well, this will help me. I have remember done, done that for 40 years and the game is just shit. And they start doing this, what I teach here today. And they start saying, you know, this is really much, much easier to do. Yes, of course it is. This is the basic skill a two pro has. I can teach people who are amateurs to become two person skill so the game takes a whole new level. They never had or knew, never knew existed except on TV, of course. I mean, this is so easy if you practice like this. But you have to relearn your habits by left heel, hip, sit down, boom, relax, hit the ground on the ball, move the arm like that. Once you learn to do that, after a while, you will find that you can feel like it's not, you're not doing much and the ball still goes straight, it goes to where you want it to go and then you just change your clubs and you will be much, 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 much more consistent around greens. You can, you know, save a lot of shots during roll, maybe three, four, five shots around depending on your short game. I guess some amateur we should save ten shots around, but...
But you have to learn the skill. If you don't have this skill, it will feel awkward. It will feel, eh, you know. You have to practice this. So make a routine of that. Go to the range before you play around. Hit a bucket with, like this with a drill in, the, in a different place. When you've done that, you go and, you know, do whatever you do before, you know, you go play in a different spot, okay? Good luck. Have fun.